my name is Kedar Nimkar. I work at ClearTrip. Um, so I'm, what I'm going to do is uh, I'm just going to run you through a small PPT which I made just a uh, few uh, some time back. Um, so there are some things which are like designed by default. Uh, that's what I feel. I'm going to take an example of Thali. Uh, most of you know uh, what is a Thali, right? For those who like don't know, I've just picked it up from Wikipedia. So there are uh, there are different types of Thalis. Uh, there could be a Maharashtrian Thali, a South Indian Thali, a Nepali Thali, or a Gujarati Thali. So uh, when I was small, uh, I was uh, like I used to serve the guest who used to come at my place, and uh, uh, at least in Marathi tradition, we were very particular about uh, things placed at the right spots in the right places. So uh, I used to like jumble with the spots. So for example, uh, if salt was supposed to be on the top left corner, it was uh, it was somewhere else. So my mom used to like really uh, shout at me. So uh, being a child and uh, I had some misconceptions about it, so I, I thought whether it has got some religious significance or uh, some traditional values hidden behind those uh, neatly decorated thalis, or it's like a regional favorite uh, things arranged in order. So for example, a South Indian thali will have a big heap of rice right in the center. So yeah, I mean, uh, uh, and that triggered few thoughts and I was just wondering whether uh, those spots have any significant like uh, like the placement is uh, very significant or can I interchange the spots and just make my own design of Thali. Uh, but then when I like looked at all the screens, uh, I found one pattern in this uh, where the most used uh, element or most used uh, item in the in the Thali uh, was probably vegetables and dal which were like uh, kept uh, uh, in a particular fashion and then uh, chutney pickles and other taste makers were like grouped on the left hand side and like the extended vegetable like some of you have like multiple vegetables uh, so those were kept on the right hand side the sweet roti and chapati were in the center so then uh, so the next thing which I did was I just like made some heat map kind of a thing based on uh, the frequency of usage uh, which which probably like looks like this where the 60% of your food resides on the top uh, like the menu in the website and the left hand side is probably 10% uh, 20% and like tools are like uh, uh, the say roti or chapati and you like basically use the tools and the uh, center things to eat. Uh, so what I think is like uh, some things are designed by default uh, and probably the, the Id whole idea about this flash talk was uh, like whoever had designed this thali in various uh, cultures and religions, uh, uh, cultures basically, or traditions you can say, uh, must have really thought of proximity, uh, the sequence and the flow in which food is supposed to be consumed and the frequency in which you, uh, you taste probably salt or pickle in the left hand side. So yeah, I mean, uh, uh, Thali could be a everyday, uh, daily used um, uh, thing, but yeah, I mean it's really designed well, and that's my interpretation of a well-designed uh, UI, which is the Thali. Thank you.